In this video, I'm going to do a one sample or single sample t test. So let's say this is a sample of seven um, students taken from a stats class at random, and this is the number of text messages they sent during class. We're going to pretend that we magically know that on average a student will send 1.5 text messages during class. And we're going to see if there is a statistically significant difference using the t distribution. So um, the first step is let's write down the formula for a single sample t-test. So t observed or t obtained is simply the sample mean minus the population mean which here is 1.5 over the standard error of the mean. So let's first, we already have the population mean, let's get the sample mean by taking um, the sum of x for all of these variables, since we're going to need that later. Let's take the sum of x which here is 26 so sum of x equals 26 and divide that by the sample size which is 7 to get the mean so sample mean is simply the sum of x which here is 26 divided by 7 which will give us the sample mean of 3.7143 So we have the numerator for the equation, which would be 3.7143 minus 1.5. Our next step is we need to get the standard error. To get the standard error, we're going to take the sum of squares, then we're going to turn that into the sample variance, then we're going to turn it into the sample standard deviation, and finally we're going to turn it into the standard error of the mean. So first step to compute the sum of squares is we'll use the computational formula which is sum of the squared x's minus sum of x squared over n. So to get the left hand side of this equation, we're going to square up all the values for x. So we'll make a column here that is all the values for x squared. We add up all of the squared values for x, the sum of x squared, or, or sum of the squared x's, I should say, is 116. So that's the sum of all the squared values for x. So we'll take that sum of squares, um, is the sum of the squared x's, 116 minus the sum of x squared over n. So that's 26 squared over 7. So our sum of squares equals 116 subtract 96.5714 which gives us a sum of squares value of 19.4286. All right. So now to turn that into the sample variance, we simply divide it by n minus 1. So the sample variance is going to equal 19.4286. Divided by n minus 1, which in this sample is 6, which gives us a sample variance of 3.2381. Next, we can turn that into the standard deviation by taking the square root of the sample variance, bringing it back into the original units, take the square root of 3.2381 to get the standard deviation, which is 1.7995. And then finally, to get the standard error of the mean, we divide the standard deviation, which
which is 1.7995 by the square root of n, which here is 7. We take 1.7995 divided by the square root of n, and we get 0 0.6801 as our standard error of the mean. Which now we have all of the ingredients for the T, one sample T test equation. So our T observed value is going to be 3.7143. Subtract our, our hypothesized population mean, or what we're assuming is a population mean for this problem, 1.5, and dividing that by the standard error of the mean, which is 0 0.6801. So our T observed value for this problem is 3.26 roughly. So if we, let's say we were doing this as a one-tailed test with alpha 0.05, we predicted that the sample, or the population that we took our sample from was going to have more text messages sent on average than the general population mean of 1.5. Um, we would find out our t-critical value for our degrees of freedom here, which is n minus 1. So since n here is our sample size, is 7, n minus 1 would be 6, our alpha 0 0.05, and a one-tailed t-critical value that we would need to achieve is 1.94. We have achieved 3.26, so this is clearly in what would be the rejection region or significance region. Um, it would be a high, highly unusual score given the null hypothesis, so we will reject the null hypothesis and say that the statistics class sent significantly more text messages um, than the, the general population mean of, or, or general um, class mean of 1.5. Um, well, as a last step, we'll compute an effect size, Cohen's d value, for this analysis. Um, so to, to compute Cohen's d, we simply take the difference in the numerator here, which is our sample mean minus our population mean, which was 2.2143, and divide it by the sample standard deviation, which was 1.7995, to get a Cohen's d value of 1.23, a rather large Cohen's d value, but these are made up data, so that's not surprising. All right, so that's how you by hand can calculate T observed um, and make decisions regarding statistical significance and evaluate a measure of effect size.